macOS 9 is the latest major release of Apple's classic macOS operating system, which was then succeeded by macOS 10 and in 2016 by the modern macOS. macOS 9 was introduced in 1999 and it was promoted by Apple as the best internet operating system ever. More than 20 years later, I decided to install this vintage macOS on my latest M1 Pro 16-inch MacBook to see how it performs and what quirks and features Apple was selling selling to its customers in 1999. In this video, I want to show you this classic macOS 9 and compare it with the latest macOS Ventura. All in all, both systems are sharing the same DNA. I will also try to go to the internet and find out if it can still be used today. Also, I will show you the grandfather of Spotlight Search, it's called Sherlock 2. Oh my god, what a name. If you want to support me, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. Without losing more of your time, let's go straight to the topic of this video. So first thing to know, I installed macOS 9 as a virtual machine by using free software called UTM. If you want to install it, go to getutm.com, then simply download and install the application. Once the application has been installed, go back to their website and go to the gallery. Here you will be able to find a whole bunch of operating systems to install. Just look for macOS 9. Click open in UTM and it will automatically start downloading and installing this system. It's super easy to do. If you want to install Windows 11 on your Mac, it will be a little bit more tricky. I made a separate video tutorial about this free virtualization tool. The link will be in the description. Apple advertised macOS 9 as including 50 new features and heavily marketed its Sherlock 2 software, which introduced a channels feature for searching different online resources. It introduced a QuickTime like metallic appearance. macOS 9 also featured integrated support for Apple's suite of internet services known as iTools, which was later replaced by iCloud. Other features new to macOS 9 include support for voice login through voice print passwords, Keychain is a feature allowing users to save passwords and textual data encrypted in protected keychains, a software update control panel for automatic download and installation of Apple system software updates, a redesigned sound control panel and support for USB audio, Speakable Items 2.0, also known as Plain Talk, features improved speech synthesis and voice recognition, improved font management, 128-bit file encryption in Finder, support for files larger than 2GB, CD burning in the Finder. Let's have a look at the interface. As you can see, it looks a little bit oldish, but it still reminds me of macOS 10 or even the latest macOS Ventura, so I don't think I will be lost here. At the bottom, we have a dock menu with some weird pixelized icons. On the right part of the screen, we have some standard applications, I believe, like Macintosh hard drive, browse the internet, mail, QuickTime player, register with Apple and Sherlock 2. On the top, we have a toolbar and Apple menu. By the way, it looks still exactly the same as 20 years ago, almost no changes here. Let's check the information about this Mac. It runs macOS 9.2 and it has 513 megabytes of virtual memory, somehow. Let's go to applications. I gonna open graphic calculator. Well, I suppose back in the day it was quite a useful application because you were able to create some crazy 3D models here. The next application I want to show you is Internet Explorer. I was quite surprised when I saw this browser inside the macOS. But yes, in 1999 Apple used Internet Explorer instead of Safari. Safari web browser was introduced later. Let's try to open some websites just to test if it's still supported. We're going to start with Google.com. And yes, it works, but unfortunately, if I'm trying to open the results of my search, 99% of all websites are not working, because my browser is too old. But I found some old websites from the era of dinosaurs and I'm gonna try to open them, just to see how the internet looked 20 years ago. The funniest thing is, when I'm trying to go to Apple's website, it's not working. It's funny that Apple's own system is not opening its own website 20 years later. 
The most interesting application, in my opinion, is Sherlock 2. Actually, it is the grandfather of our modern spotlight search. I think the name is very funny because it refers to Sherlock Holmes, you know, a fictional detective created by British author Arthur Conan Doyle. Sherlock Holmes was known for his observation, deduction and logical reasoning. So, you know, use Sherlock 2 and you will find everything. Kinda cool name, I like it. So here you can choose between different search options, like search on your Mac, searching on the internet, a weird lady icon, online shopping, news, Apple, books, etc. I like the metallic look and overall simplicity of this design. Compared to Windows 99, macOS 9 looks way better. Of course, the design is a matter of preference, but I think macOS was just much cleaner. macOS 9 offered you back in the day a lot of personalization options. In the control center, you can change the appearance and really toggle the look of the system to your own taste. You can change the wallpaper, fonts and many more different options. I think 20 years ago, Apple macOS 9 had quite a good-looking, user-friendly interface. It's simple to use and even a child was able to figure out how it works. Throughout the years, macOS evolved a lot and with every update, Apple added more and more features. It's pretty interesting to see and touch on the evolution of Apple's operating system for Mac. But the way we interact with our Mac computer was defined back in the day and has not changed since. What I mean by that, you know, we still have the same location of buttons, we're still using pretty much the same basic features and apps like Finder. You see, 20 years old macOS looks very similar to today's macOS Ventura. Thanks for watching, if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, don't forget to check out other videos on my channel as well, see you later on YouTube, bye bye.